In front of me, I have the Odyssean Progressive HDC Nano uh, satellite receiver. Basically, this is a high definition satellite receiver, and the reason it's called the Nano is quite evident here. It's a very, very compact little unit. Now, it's manufactured by Odyssean. Odyssean are a really brilliant brand in terms of the range of products they have, the quality of their products, and they're a very, very popular brand in Germany. Okay, so, um, you know, they've proved to be massively popular products uh, on the Irish and UK market for us. Uh, in terms of uh, the format of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give an overview of exactly what comes in the box. Uh, I'm going to give a detailed overview of the unit here itself and then I'm going to come along here and I'm going to uh, just give a demonstration of the box be in operation. So the first thing to note is it just comes in this outer box here, so it's very compact. It is, uh, has an external power unit, so the output in this is 12 volts, 1.5 amp. Uh, we just have an instruction guide here, but the videos we have will cover everything really you need to know. Uh, in terms of uh, this little unit here, we have a sensor here and we can actually use this lead to connect it off the IR port on the back of the box. What it means is that we can actually come along and we could um, discreetly mount this box with say hidden behind the flat screen TV. We can't actually see the box but we can still operate it via this IR sensor here um, and that can be quite handy. Uh, particularly with so many TVs now being mounted on, on the, on the uh, flat screen TVs being mounted on walls. We also have two actually sticky pads here, which we'd actually use for mounting this uh, and sticking it onto a wall or the back of a TV to hold it in position. And finally, what we have uh, is the remote control, it's just a set of AAA batteries and a very compact remote here. And also we have this lead here. So normally, obviously, we'd be connecting this to a high definition television with a HDMI lead. But if we had an older TV, we can use a 3.5 millimeter output here, the RCA connections on it, and connect it directly onto a TV in that manner. Uh, so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to actually just come to the front of the table here and um, I'm just going to give a detail over the, the different features of the box. So what we note here, we'll say, is that we have actually two USB ports on it. And that's really handy because it means that, we'll say, we can add on an external hard drive or a USB key to use the PVR functionality of it uh, or the media player functionality with the box. But equally, we we'll say, if we wanted to add a Wi-Fi dongle on or if we had a large external hard drive that needed two input ports, ports to power it, now we have both ports, both um, uh, very close together. And th that's a great design feature and I've seen it very rarely on boxes, particularly to have both ports on the front like this. If we take the unit around and we look at the back, we'll see that in terms of the inputs on it here, we have um, the satellite input here um, and also we have the power input on the far side here, a 12 volt input. In terms of um, the add-ons then we can have on it, uh, I spoke earlier about the IR sensor here. We can actually just come along and I can just slide this into position and mount it. And now if I was having the TV, the unit hidden out of sight, it'll actually, um, we can operate it through the IR sensor here. Now it actually has an IR sensor built into it as well, so that it's optional whether to use this. If we had it just sitting on a set-top box, we wouldn't actually need this. We could just operate it directly. In terms of outputs there, with the older TVs, you could use our RCA connection here. Again, I'm just going to demonstrate it quickly. Just insert it here and you can use that directly into the RCA input on TVs or you can convert this over to a SCART input and just use it then and uh, view the channels that way. But normally what people of course will be doing is just using a HDMI output on it simply because it gives you the high, high definition pictures on it etc. If we come along here we can actually see the TV in operation here. Um, I actually have this one powered in terms of the little sensor here so you can see the little LED light on it. Um, so we, I, I could hide that box at the site and still operate it. Um, so what we can do here is I can just come along and I can just press the OK button. We can just see what channel we're on. Okay, uh, we can just exit back out there, and it just gives it the now and next in terms of the satellite thing, a little bit of information, etc. And what we can do is we can just go into the menu functions on it, etc. But um, you know the, the general uh, overview, we'll say, in terms of um, the different features that are on it. will all be covered in later videos in the series. But overall, we'll say, this is a, just a really neat little box. And I think it sits really beautifully with the range of other boxes we have. So this is both you know, a high quality and compact little unit, and it's coming from a premium brand. So that's it anyway, the overview of the Odyssean Progressive HDC uh, Nano set-top box.